Damn, crazy. <laughs> We finally were able to pick up our wood that we're going to use to make our uh, little table out of. And this is birch that was cut at a custom mill for us in Talkeetna. And we just got it a few days ago and this is kind of our drying station. Some of this wood was pretty fresh but it's been in here for a few days and we keep our house hot so we are going to start building our table. Since it is the end of 2018, we figured we would give everyone kind of a little update on how our cabin is at this point. We have been in Alaska for about four months and in this house for about three and a half. So this cabin is 320 square feet on the floor and then we have an upstairs loft that adds about another 160 square feet. So being in this smaller space, we did have to kind of look at the layout and how we wanted the house to be and it's basically like a cube so there's different sections we have our wood stove the entranceway our fridge with all our tools on it right now probably one of the trickiest things is the staircase because it doesn't move and our huge dog beds so that that was kind of hard to make work we have this couch that we got used we wanted pretty much a full-size couch you may have seen videos of the kitchen and it's this it's pretty large chunk of the actual house probably a quarter of this downstairs this table is awesome for us we didn't want anything fixated so you can see it moves it's perfect if we need to get it out of the way we have a smaller range we play around with the idea of where a table could go we wanted to have like a permanent area to eat whether it be a like a bar area to eat or an island so we decided that we want to make a permanent small table in this area. Our on-demand water heater and part of our solar system is inside of our house. The intention is to build an addition to the house and put these in there somewhere we can store that equipment and also maybe even have like a permanent shower. We're gonna pass by our water storage on the way upstairs and we also intend to have this outside in another room in the future, but for now, this is where we have it. So being in Alaska or anywhere cold, everything is frozen outside. So if you don't want it to freeze, you really need to have it inside in a warm space. We recently rearranged our bedroom or our loft and we used to have our bed more in this fashion. And this gives us a lot more room for activities and such. And the idea is to have shelves and maybe cabinets and cubbies and all of that in the future and even raise this bed up off the ground, but we're just kind of taking it one step at a time. So we had these pieces cut at eight foot, two inches. So we are going to cut this right down the middle and flip it together. So this whole table is going to be made out of birch except for these little supports. These are just uh, one by four Douglas fir. And we were on a walk one day and we actually found um, these legs. It looked like a tree had fallen over from snow we're guessing. So we got the axe and we brought it home. And no tree will go to waste. So that makes Ariel happy we didn't have to cut anything down to make this table. So 
Shadows. See those all different colors? Yeah. So that is our finished product. Um, we're just going to be using it for eating dinner and working on the computer. We don't know what we're going to do for chairs or a bench or whatever we're going to use to sit on. But for now, we like it and we like the way it turned out. We're wrapped up with this project for today. Since the sun's going down, we're going to take the dogs on a quick walk before dinner. And we are going to put a coating or like a sealant on it in the future. And we will show you guys that when we get there. So it's been a pretty crazy year for us. We've made some huge changes. We wanted to say Happy New Year's to everyone and we will see you in 2019. We've got lots of plans for 2019. I think our major plans have to do with food. Definitely want to get our garden going again. It's probably top of the list. And chickens and we're also getting three packages of beets. And come tomorrow the 1st, we can go get our Alaska hunting fishing license. We plan to do a lot of that next year. See ya.